Ever since the famous Bird app we all know has been founded in 2006, Twitter has become one of our go-to social media apps together with Facebook and Instagram. Recently, though, it has been the center of controversy since the famous billionaire Elon Musk entered the picture. Welcome to our channel. Buckle up for a long ride because the chaos that ensued just this week has been one hell of a bumpy road. If you still don't know what we're talking about, today's video is about all of the mayhem that happened ever since Elon Musk bought Twitter. Elon Musk buying Twitter has been in the works ever since April this year, but it was only on October 27 that he became CEO of the company after a buyout offer of $44 billion. Even before he became CEO, there was already a fuss and numerous threads about Musk being in control of Twitter. It was a black and white scenario. People were either enthusiastic about it or expressed their clear distaste of the billionaire taking over one of the most commonly used social media platforms on the internet. What do you think about this whole Twitter fiasco? Do you side with Elon Musk or do you think everything has gone haywire ever since he took over the app? Let us know what you think in the comments below. In a letter that he posted the same day he became CEO, Musk said, This is why I bought Twitter. I didn't do it because it would be easy. I did it to try and help humanity whom I love. That said, Twitter obviously cannot become a free-for-all hellscape, where anything can be said with no consequences. In a formal interview, Musk said that he bought Twitter because he wanted a digital town square, where everyone can gather and exchange ideas, even going so far as to propose the appointment of a council for content moderation. This move was received enthusiastically by right-wing users who were glad that American conservatives could finally express themselves in the app. Contrasting this were left-wing users who thought of Musk's advocacy for free speech as a guise to enable racist and homophobic tweets in the platform. Perhaps this is the reason as to why Twitter lost 1.3 million users after Musk became CEO. But despite this devastating loss of tweeters, Musk tweeted on November 8 that the usage of the platform was at an all-time high. But the loss of users isn't the only thing that troubles Twitter right now. Several active users have conveyed their disdain over the payment scheme that Musk implemented on the verification system in the app. For a very short while, any user could buy the verification mark in Twitter for only $8 a month. And seeing how this is the internet, a lot of tweeters use this opportunity to play around with it by impersonating popular figures or pretending to be the official Twitter accounts of certain brands. Consequently, the actual brands and famous people that were impersonated had to debunk the tweets for the sake of their public image. This so-called Twitter blue where verification could be bought was only short-lived and Musk admitted that due to the unforeseen flaw of the newly established system, they had to go back to the drawing board. Things do not end there as a recent study finds that there has been a significant spike in hate speech on the platform after Musk's takeover. Despite the team of Twitter reassuring everyone that they are extending their best efforts to lower hate speech in the platform, the use of racial slurs and posts about anti-Semitism has increased in the app in the past few weeks. It seems that some users were keen on testing out if Elon Musk is truly a free speech absolutist as he claimed by posting out slurs that targeted minorities. On the other hand, Musk gave a statement that the amount of hate speech in the platform has actually lowered contrary to what the press has been saying. That was so much to unpack that even we could barely keep up with all that's been happening to Twitter. But before everything gets even more downhill, why don't you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. While there's no guarantee if Twitter will recover from all of this, one thing we're sure of is that we'll bring you up to speed on its latest news. Going back to the topic at hand, as if things weren't already bad, it takes a turn for the worst as Musk laid off 7,500 employees on November 4. That amounts to about half of the company and that number doesn't include the contractors that he has fired as well after massive layoffs. To add to that, a recent email from Musk that demands the employees to quote-unquote work hardcore has sparked a wave of employees to quit their jobs and depart from Twitter after years of working full-time for the company. The employees who just recently quit has shared their experiences under the hashtag LoveWhereYouWorked and walked down memory lane in their years of service for Twitter. 
This has caused Twitter to be shorthanded and lose experienced employees who have worked on improving the app's regulations for years now. Firing these employees will consequently put the remaining ones on crunch time and have a broken workflow before they could adjust to their coworkers quitting the company. Aside from those consequences, just right around the corner when a lot of employees departed from the company was the midterm elections. This has dumped a ton of workload on the remaining staff as they battled their way through the misinformation and content moderating that the app demands during the elections. More employees were expected to exit even after a total of 88% of staff had been laid off or quit on their own. While Twitter's future remains bleak, so does Elon Musk's status in the executive board of both the app and of Tesla. The director of Tesla has hinted that Musk has already decided on who his successor could be in Tesla while his compensation trial with the company is underway. While at the trial, Musk also stated that he is willing to step down as CEO of Twitter and find someone else to run the company. There have been rumors of the management from Twitter asking for the former CEO, Parag Agrawal, to go back to the company to be in the front lines of its operation. However, there has been no sign of his return to the company. Seeing how Musk and Agrawal were seen to be having a feud before the takeover, there's no reason for the latter to go back to the company unless he's given a serious offer. Musk also tried to block Agrawal's severance package out of spite because the former CEO was against Musk taking over the company. But seeing how Twitter is dysfunctional right now and could use all the help that they could get, it's not far-fetched that someone from Twitter is desperate to have Agrawal back despite his altercation with Musk. Due to all of these circumstances, the hashtag RIP Twitter has been trending worldwide as people start to fear that the app will finally meet its end. The numerous experts who once worked on Twitter already resigned and no one is sure if the platform could still run with only 20% of its employees remaining. Whether the users are exaggerating or not, you can't help but admit that they have grounds to assume the shutdown of Twitter. Everyone is at the edge of their seat as they set their eyes on Elon Musk's next move on trying to resolve this Twitter fiasco. If all of these strings of conflicts have been tangled up into a huge ball of chaos, where do you even begin to untangle it all? Do you think Twitter could get back on its feet and continue running after facing all of its current issues? We'd love to hear your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe and click on the notification bell so we could keep you posted. Thanks for watching.